everybody, Brian here. We're going to look at the F chord today, the F major chord. Um, a lot of people have a hard time getting this one as a beginning guitar players. It does require um, a little bit more uh, with your fingers because there's a little bit of a barring action going on here. So the F major chord, let's take a look at it. Okay, so with the F major chord, as you can see uh, from the diagram, that we have the first finger taking over two strings. So you're going to have to lay your pointer finger flat to make sure that the B and the high E string are both covered. While that's laying flat, we need to bring in our middle finger on the second fret of the G string and third finger on the fourth, uh, on the third fret of the D string. So you have one, one, two, and that third finger on that D string third fret like that. And you're gonna be getting then the sound of an F major chord, really pretty chord. But one of the biggest um, hurdles most beginning guitar players get is again, uh, having to bar and get these two to ring. So the best way that I recommend when people are first learning the F chord is practice just pinching these two and getting those to ring by themselves. Okay, and then try to see if you can add in the middle finger on the second fret of the, you get the three ringing now. And again, if you start to hear this, you might want to adjust where your finger is. And I tend to, again, when I play my F chord, notice that uh, the creases on my finger are, I'm getting more of the side of my finger. If you notice that it's kind of angled a little bit, it's really tough to do an F chord where everything's straight like this and your elbow's up in the air. So again, this kind of angle where I'm kind of laying that way. You can kind of see my first finger is there. I can kind of see, show you the lines on my finger that are there from the string marks like that. So the first thing is work on getting those three to ring and then bring in the third finger to get that F chord ringing all together like that. F major. Now, there is an easier way to start out that, um, again, if you have a song that has an F in it and you want to be able to learn to play that song and still perform it, but you haven't quite got that bar uh, down, your, ha your hands just quite aren't ready yet, there is an alternative little easier way I want to show you that you could pull off an F chord without having to do the bar quite yet. So an easier way that you can do it is, it's very similar to like the C chord shape if you know it, but I'm just going to do the three, two, one. That's on the D third, second fret, G, and first fret of the B. And I'm not gonna incorporate the, the bar. And I'm gonna get this sound. And it becomes more of a jazzier sound. It's actually technically becoming what they call an F major seven. But a lot of songs you can be able to get through uh, playing this particular shape of F um, if you need to perform it. So if my song is C to the F, sound too bad uh, doing that kind of easier version until you're ready to start getting that bar down. But I definitely recommend just trying to work on, again, one step at a time at that bar um, to get the F. <laughs> 